A day at the zoo is one of life's timeless memories. The spring sunshine, gentle breezes, flower beds bursting with colorful spring blossoms, and of course, the baby animals. There's so much to see and do, it's a full day's worth of enjoyment for young and old. So leave all your cares and worries behind and join us for a day at the zoo. One of the most fascinating aspects of any zoo is appreciating that you can see animals from around the world. On one aisle you'll see polar bears frolicking in their pools, and then a few feet away you can stand and watch a desert camel enjoying her dinner. A zoo is only as successful as the people who care for the animals, and from the number of babies we'll see, it's clear that this zoo is doing a great job. Most animal mothers know instinctively how to care for and raise their offspring. However, there are times when keepers must step in and hand rear babies of all kinds. It's a delicate and demanding job, but one that these animal lovers and specialists embrace to ensure both healthy, happy adults and the continuation of vanishing species. Let's hear about some special animal babies and their human moms. Hi, I'm Nancy Stengel. I'm one of the bird keepers here at the Buffalo Zoo, and I help to feed and care for um, a number of different species of birds here at the Buffalo Zoo. One of them right now that we're looking at is the hyacinth macaw, which is an endangered species of macaw or parrot from the rainforest down in South America. They're native to a part of Brazil, and there's only about 2,000 of them left in the wild. 
So we are hoping to start a breeding program with these here at the zoo. This is a female that we have just gotten in from the Pittsburgh aviary down in Pennsylvania, and we are looking for a husband for KT right now. Okay, everybody stay down. Okay, these are some more of our macaws that we've bred here at the Buffalo Zoo. These are some of the babies that we've raised. We have scarlet macaws, which are the red ones, and we have our blue and gold macaws. All of these birds <coughs> were hatched and hand raised here at the Buffalo Zoo. Come here, Cricket. It's all right, come on. They can be very friendly when they're hand raised because we work with them from when they're babies and they think of us as their parents. Therefore, they're very comfortable working around us and feel very safe with us. This is, Cricket is going to be a year old soon and she was one of the first scarlets hatched here at the Buffalo Zoo. This is Popeye. This is one of our young hand-raised blue and gold macaws. Um, they're a little anxious right now because they've just gotten fed and we're keeping them away from their dinner. But we have been very successful with the blue and gold macaws at the Buffalo Zoo. We have two breeding pairs and in the past three years we've been able to raise 47 youngsters that have gone on to other zoos and different breeding programs. So hopefully we'll be able to keep people from taking any more macaws out of the wild by breeding them here at the zoo. Um, you can see that <coughs> these macaws that I have with me are very brightly colored. That is one thing that the parrots are known for. Um, the macaws in particular have very bright, beautiful colors. They're very easy to see when you're looking at them, although up in the treetop they wouldn't necessarily be. You can see all of these youngsters right now have food on their faces. They just finished finished eating and they eat very well. They're very healthy birds. You can tell by looking at their plumage. It's very brightly colored. It's close to their body. Their eyes are very bright. They're very active and interested in what's going on. This is a two-month-old scarlet macaw that was hatched here at the zoo and is being hand raised, which is one of the things that we do at the zoo when the parents are unable to care for them. Her parents would probably have abused her or killed her, so we pulled her as an egg and we will be raising her and she will be going to some other zoo for a breeding <coughs> program. Um, we feed them a liquid food concoction and we feed it with syringes and they are very willing to take it. That, with you seeing that she's jumping around like that, that's called the feeding response. And that means that's a normal, healthy baby macaw that was very hungry. Hi, my name is John Heine. I'm the gorilla keeper here at the Buffalo Zoo. And here in Buffalo, we have eight different individual gorillas separated into three groups. This guy here is BK, who was born two years ago and unfortunately his mother didn't take care of him right away so we, we had to hand raise him but now he's back in with his group he's back with his parents our our one-year-old uh, gorilla samson is still getting a bottle four times a day and what we use is a regular human baby formula that we have to heat up. He gets about four and a half ounces per feeding. So I'll just take a second. That's about right. And he also gets a vitamin supplement. Okay, hey, Samson, come on, time to eat. A day at the zoo wouldn't be complete without a picnic in the warm sunshine, a ride or two on the carousel, and for the little ones, some special excitement.
There are some animals that naturally invite human attention and interaction, like red pandas, baby goats, and the adorable little prairie dogs. some more dangerous, more mysterious, and less lovable animals like lions, tigers, vultures, and hyenas. But when you see the keepers with their animals, you'll realize that everyone has their own fascination and their keepers love them all. Maggie and Jigs, this is our breeding pair of Andean condors. They are over 20 years old and they have been a very productive pair here at the Buffalo Zoo. The Andean condors have been a model for the breeding and release of the California condors, which is a very endangered species native to the United States. Um, the Andean condors are native to Central and South America, mainly in the Andes Mountains where they live up on the cliffs. And you can see there are some characteristic differences. The male has this caruncle, which is that fleshy protuberance on top of his head, as well as the fleshy area underneath his beak. And the female, you can see, it has bright red eyes compared to his kind of greenish yellow eyes. The elephants are always a favorite exhibit, and Mike Lavulo really loves his charges. As you'll see, they know it and respond to him in some amazing ways. Hi, my name is Mike Lovulo. I'm an animal keeper at the Buffalo Zoo. I work with our four Asian female elephants, and this one right here is named Jody. Jody is about 10 years of age, and uh, she's very curious right now, seeing that, that she wants to greet everybody, and uh, maybe she'll do a few behaviors for us. Jody, speak. Good girl. What we do with these animals is we work with them so that we can get some obedience out of them to make it safe for ourselves and safe for the animals. In this way, we can maintain a good husbandry program, take care of their skin, give them baths daily, and uh, occasionally put on a demonstration or two. Jody, speak. Good girl. Show us how you cross your legs, Jody. Jody, cross your legs. Cross your legs. Come here, come here. Come here, Jody. Come here. Cross your legs. Steady. All right, good girl. Notice that Jody has a couple of small tusks. Asian females, if they have tusks, they will be small tusks and they'll be called tushes. Now, she'll open her mouth for us, we can see her teeth. Jody, open. Open. Can you see those teeth in there? Open. All right, Jody, good girl. Asian elephants go through six sets of teeth in their lifetime. And she's probably on her third or fourth set right now. Uh, the teeth come in the back of their mouth and they push the new ones out the front of her mouth. They grow forward, not one underneath the other. 
Let's see if I can get one of our other elephants to come up and visit us. Swappa, come here. Swappa, come here. Sheba, leave her alone. Swappa, come here. Come here, Swappa. Swappa, stretch out. Stretch out, Swappa. Steady, steady. Good girl. This is one of the things, all right, that we do. We'll get the elephants to, to lie down or stretch out. And that way we can bathe them. We can do the tops of their backs. And sometimes we'll lay them down so we can look at their feet. Uh, elephants live to be about 65 years of age. And uh, a lot of that is determined by their teeth. Because at about 65, they've lost their last set of teeth. And uh, it's not very easy for them to chew. While you're walking around the zoo enjoying all the animals, be sure to take time and appreciate the beautiful scenery all around you. Fountains, flowers, and flowering trees all add to the enjoyment of the day. Nocturnal animals have special habitats created to turn night into day. Here are some small creatures we'd rarely, if ever, see in the wild. Would you ever guess that this little Egyptian mouse was nocturnal? With those huge eyes and ears, he's well equipped for staying alert at night. Here are some adorable little rock cavies from South America. And here's a chinchilla, one of about 250 needed to make one coat. Fortunately, this little guy doesn't have to worry about such a fate. Degus are another unusual South American rodent we'd only see in a zoo. How about these common marmosets? They don't look very common to me. The yellow Bengal tiger is the one we're all used to seeing. He's a magnificent example of grace and power in motion. But 
have you ever seen a white tiger? No, he's not an albino. He's a rare Bengal tiger in his white phase. A day at the zoo wouldn't be complete without stopping to appreciate the lion and his beautiful lioness in their natural habitat. Keeper. I'm the lead feline keeper here at the Buffalo Zoo. Uh, part of my duties are, are to take care of the cats. So mostly what I do is feed and clean. This is Bro. He's an adult male African lion. Uh, Bro's about 11 years old. And he has two wives, otherwise known as lionesses, and they're in the next cage. But Bro's very interested in this camera and what's going on. These are two lionesses. They're the wives of the big male we already looked at. Um, right now, you see these cats are inside, but we rotate two sets of animals every day. So we have two prides of lions. The younger pride is out right now, and there's also three of them, a male and two females. And so today's the day that this pride stays indoors. And tomorrow morning, we'll bring the, the three that are out in to eat, and then these three will be out for the next 24 hours. So we can rotate the cats all the time, and they don't have to be on exhibit all the time if they don't want to be. Uh, we're going to look at the ultimate cat chew toy. This is a truck tire, and we give the cats things to do just like you would your domestic cat. So tires are a little more stable than the general cat toy, or more hardy. And you can see that it's pretty well chewed up, that they do play with it and knock it over and claw on it. And we give them a lot of other things, like even paper bags to tear up, cardboard boxes. Uh, they get rawhide chews, lots of different things to keep them occupied, especially when they're indoors. This is Sable, our black leopard. Um, she's trained to come out on a lead, and sometimes she walks around the zoo. We've worked very hard with her to get her to be comfortable around a lot of people. And she comes out so that we can do talks with her and demonstrations and teach people about endangered species. This big polar bear has found a friend who'll never give up. A barrel full of air is always ready to play. And this beautiful lady couldn't be more graceful if she performed in a water ballet. Giraffes have no natural enemies in the wild. That's understandable, since one well-placed kick from those long legs can tear a predator's head right off. These graceful creatures roam the Serengeti in Africa, but fortunately for us, seem just as content in a well-cared-for, man-made environment.
A day at the zoo can provide enjoyment, relaxation, and a wealth of information on animals from around the world. It's a time to share with family and friends, or simply stroll quietly through the natural beauty all around you. We hope you've enjoyed your day at the zoo, and we'll come back again soon.